I've been in Houston all my life, 60 plus years, and this is the third flooding I've been through. The first one, they told me it was a 100 year flood zone, it was never going to happen again, it stopped, blah, 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 blah. Never believe them. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> two years later, it came again. <laughs> And then 10 years later, it came again. Mm -hmm. So Harvey came and, and swooped me out. The second flood uh, did us a little better, but devastated us in that it took away the house, all the clothes, all the shoes, everything. And some people said, wash the things and wear them. But some people said, throw everything away. So we erred on the side of throwing everything away. So we threw everything away, and, and people were kind. Church members, other people we knew um, didn't mind helping out. So met new friends, let you know the people that love you, truly love you. And so the, the storm was bad, but it was a blessing to let you know that in the times of trouble, people in Houston will get together and help you. In her case, the uh, uh, engineers uh, from the Marines came and gutted her house out and worked tirelessly for like two days. And uh, we bought them food and that was it. They, they really didn't even want that, but we just you know, felt that it would be the thing to do. You know, so Houston is known to have they flooding and they little weather sprats. And God has been good. He's, he, he's kept us through all of them. You know, uh, it's been help from outsiders and insiders and just people that, that I didn't even know. They said, oh, I got this, take this. You know, I have a Oh, bad, take that, you know. Mm -hmm. And even though you lose everything, you don't lose everything. Mm -hmm. You lose possessions. Mm -hmm. But most of them can be replaced. Mm -hmm. The only thing I hate is losing so many valuable pictures mm -hmm. because I didn't expect for it to flood that high. So things that was in my drawer, in my dresser drawer, we lost. And they, they was, I mean, it was like up high, but mm -hmm. the water moves stuff like it wants to, mm -hmm. you know. And so, subsequently, okay. if you have pictures, you're going to have to find somewhere to safe store to store them. them. Yeah, mm -hmm. somewhere safe to store them. Mm -hmm. You can't just leave them in a high place. you got to put them in something. And a lot of the pictures were pictures of the children when they were really young, Christmas and Thanksgiving and birthdays, it was really the hardest part of losing everything. Mm -hmm. For me, Houston Strong is that no matter what goes on, mm -hmm. you can survive. I've been in, I've been with people that says that where they're from, if, if it had flooded there, nobody was going to take them in. You know, a, a friend of mine, she's from Arkansas, she said when a twist or a tornado come through there, it's like, oh, your house gone. They don't say, come on over. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she was, she was here in Houston when the flooding happened and people was opening up their doors to her. Come on over here, girl. You don't need to be there by yourself. And she was mm -hmm. like... You know, she was surprised, and that's one thing. That people never mind saying, come on over. Well, she had had a, a, a bad accident, and she was in the hospital. And I was praying and thanking God that she was in the hospital because I didn't have to worry about her being okay. So my daughter took me, my grandbabies, and her husband, and we left and went to Dallas. So when we got back, 
her house didn't flood at all, but her house did. And we had decorated it pretty for her homecoming, and we were unfortunate. We didn't take pictures. We should have. But um, I think it all was a blessing because it really let you know who's there for you. If you ever have to really go through something and a person that you don't have any hope of ever returning that favor to, and they turn around and be kind to you, that lets you know Houston's strong because the people that come here are strong in their, in their hearts to help one another. In the hospital they had uh, uh, what did they call it? They were short staffed because people couldn't get in and out mm -hmm. because you know flooding was all over Houston so the doctors and the nurses that was there they had to stay and they they was on for 10 hours and they slept for mm -hmm. they found them a room in the place in the hospital to stay <clears throat> but the only problems that they seemed to have had was just getting staff in but it didn't affect the, the care that they gave mm -hmm. because they, they had real nice. the people that was there stayed you know mm -hmm. and they stayed and they, they did whatever they need to have done And so for you, Ms. Sheila, what would you say would be the most difficult thing for you? Well, it was difficult because she was really, really sick. And it was difficult because we had lived there and had so many happy memories um, because we're a pretty close family. And I thought back about my dad laying there when he took sick one time and I had to learn how to do his sugar take intake and make his breakfast. And I was just thinking about the bittersweet memories, the happy times, the Christmases, the Thanksgivings, the way I couldn't cook and people would eat it anyway. Just, you know, the normal things you think about with a family. But uh, we all came through alive, and nobody was anywhere where they were in danger. So we, so we were okay. That's good. I just uh, want to give thanks to people that didn't have to but did. Came out of that comfort zone to help. Mm -hmm. And then maybe uh, next time it'll be my opportunity to help. Mm -hmm.